So in the last video we had some issue the birds disappeared after the game was over. So let's fix that now. Go to the draw method and here after the is game over condition we are drawing the bird. Just cut these two lines and paste it before the if condition because after the game was over we were returning from this method and because of which our bird was not getting drawn. And now we will reward our user with one point when the user shoots the bird and we will show his score in the screen. So go to the top and create one more integer variable and name it score. Initialize this integer with zero. And now go to the line where you have initialized the paint object. And after instantiating the paint object call paint dot set text size and the text size will be 128 pixels and the color of this paint will be white. Now go to the update method and after the bullet intersects with the bird we will reward the player with one point so call score plus plus and now let's draw this uh, score on the screen. So go to the draw method and here call canvas dot draw text. This is the method that we call when we want to draw a text on the canvas and the text is going to be score plus an empty string because the parameter that is expected here is a string and the score variable is an integer. So we will just concatenate it with an empty string to make it a string. And the second parameter is the x axis where we want to draw our text. So we will be drawing in the center of the x axis. So divide screen x by 2 and then the y position of the text. And this y position should be greater than 128 because 128 is the size of the text that we are going to draw. And if we pass a number lesser than 128 then our text will not be in the screen. So I will just pass 164 here because 164 looks good. And the last parameter is the paint object. And after the game is over, we will check if the current score is the highest score of the user. And if that's the case, then we will save that score in shared preferences. So inside the is game over condition, call save if high score. This will be a function that we'll be creating now. Press Alt Enter and create this method. Now go to the top and create an object of shared preferences and instantiate this object in the constructor by calling context.getSharedPreferences and the name of our preferences will be game and the second parameter is the mode. Mode private hides the content of the shared preference from other apps in the mobile phone. Now go back to save if high score function and here check for the condition if prefs.getInt and the key will be high score and the default value will be zero is lesser than score. So if the high score is lesser than the current score, then we will create an object of shared preferences dot editor and we will refer this to the object that is returned by prefs dot edit function. And then we will call editor dot put end. The key will be high score and then pass the score integer as the second parameter. And after we have put the high score in the editor, we can just save it by calling editor.apply. After the game is over, we will wait for few seconds and after those few seconds, we will navigate back to our main activity. We will create one more method and we will call this wait before exiting. Press Alt Enter and create this method. And in this method, we will send our thread to sleep for three seconds. Press Alt Enter and surround this statement with try catch. And after three seconds, we will start the main activity and we will finish the game activity. So go to the top and modify the constructor of this class. And now this constructor will not take an object of context class. Instead, it will take an object of game activity class. And we will call this variable activity and replace all context variables with activity and then create a global object of the activity class and then refer this to the activity in the constructor. 
Now go back to wait before exiting method and here call activity dot start activity and the intent will be new intent from this activity to main activity dot class and after starting the activity we will finish the game activity by calling activity dot finish and now go to the top and create one object of sound pool class if you don't know how to use sound pool then i have a video on that i'll put a link to that video in the description box you may check it out and now instantiate the sound pool object in the constructor so check for the condition if build dot version dot sdk int is greater than or equals to build dot version quotes m or not and if that's the case, then we will instantiate the sound pool using the sound pool builder. So create an object of audio attributes, which will be new audio attributes dot builder. Content type will be content music and usage will be usage game and then build this audio attributes and now build the sound pool using the sound pool builder. Set audio attributes to the audio attributes object that we created and then build the builder and if the version code is lesser than m then we will use the older version to instantiate sound pool the first parameter it expects is the number of streams that we are going to play here it's just going to be one stream type will be audio manager dot stream music and the last parameter can be ignored so we can just pass zero here and now create an integer variable and name this variable sound and now let's load the sound that is there in our raw folder using the sound pool object call sound pool dot load and the first parameter that it expects is the context which will be the activity and the resource id of the sound we haven't added the sound in our project yet i'll put a link to this project in the description box and you will find the sound there there will be a file name shoot so right click on the resources folder and create a new android resource directory and the resource type will be raw and now copy this shoot sound file and paste it in the raw folder and now pass the resource id which is r.raw.shoot and the priority which will be set to 1 now go to the method new bullet and here check for the condition if prefs dot get boolean is mute and the default value will be false and then add this not symbol in front of this statement and if the game is not at mute then we will play the sound and we will play the sound using the sound pool dot play function pass the sound id as the first parameter and then the left volume which is one right volume will be one priority will be 0, loop will be 0 and float rate will be 1. Now go to main activity dot java class and the layout file of this activity has a text view named high score text and we will show our high score in that text view. So find that text view by its id and the id of that text view is high score text and then create an object of shared preferences call this prefs and refer this to the shared preferences with the name game mode will be private and then set the high score in the high score text view by calling set text function call prefs dot get integer and the key is high score for the high score and the default value will be zero and we will also concatenate this high score with a string which will say high score and colon and now create a global boolean variable and this boolean will be called is mute and get the mute value from the preferences by calling prefs dot get boolean and the key will be is mute and the default value will be false and then equate this value to the is mute variable in the layout file we also have an image view which is called volume control so depending on the mute state of the game we will change the image in that image view so find that image view by its id the id of that image view is volume control 
so check for the condition if is mute so if the game is at mute then we will change the image of the volume control image view by calling set image resource and the resource id will be volume off and if the game is not at mute then we will set the image resource to r dot drawable dot volume up and we will also set this volume control image view on click listener and here we will toggle our is mute variable so is mute will be equals to not is mute so if the is mute was false then it will become true and then copy this if else statement and paste it again in the on click method press alt enter and make this volume control final and now create an object of shared preferences dot editor and refer this to the object return by preps dot edit function and then put the is mute boolean in the editor and the key for the boolean is is mute and then pass the value which is is mute variable and then call editor dot apply to save these settings we have a very small bug in the game so go to game view dot java class and go to the draw method and after the game is over we will be drawing this canvas before calling the wait before exiting method so paste it just before drawing the bitmap and now you can run and see the final game click on the play button and you can hear the sound when the flight shoots the bullet and the game is over now because we missed the bird and now you can see the high score in the top right corner now let's mute the game and now you cannot hear any bullet sound 